So I found out recently that Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball Z, passed away. And I haven't realized till his passing how much influence he had on my childhood. I remember watching the show with my friends and then going outside beating absolute living fuck out of each other. Think here were Goku. I remember in front of a mirror channeling my key, preparing for battle, thinking my fight is gonna look something like this. But in reality, we all look like this. Goofy as fuck, but we didn't care. <laughs> also, what is this fight? What the fuck? I remember when Goku was charging up his spirit bomb. I was screaming like a fucking maniac. My mom probably thought she needs to check me in some institute. We all wanted to look like Goku. Look at this kid. He looked cool as fuck. But he got all the apple just from all the girls. Akira Toriyama influenced so many people that even Chinese government offered their condolences. Even Xi Jinping loves Dragon Ball. As well people in Argentina chanting Akira which is really cool to see. People even creating patterns in stadiums of Goku. Literal chills. Nobody wanted to watch some wack ass cartoons with fucking teddy bears and sesame streets and shit. What I loved about Dragon Ball was raw as fuck. Because calling me a she or a he doesn't feel right to me. <laughs> Watching Goku as a kid, training, protecting his friends made me want to work out and not be a little bitch. His solution to all the problems was train harder. <laughs> oh, I'm losing to Frieza. He killed my friends. Boom, Super Saiyan bitch, you're dead. Goku wanted to beat the fuck out of everybody so bad that he changed his hair color mid fight. If he wasn't Saiyan, probably L'Oreal would sue him. I'm so glad I was part of my childhood and in a sense Akira passing away for me is like Goku passing away. The memories we got from it and this time there is no Dragon Balls to fix it.